My name is Dr. Scruggs, and in this video, we're going to cover tearing due to a nasolacrimal duct obstruction. The nasolacrimal duct is part of your tear drainage system, and oftentimes as we get older, it can become blocked. This can cause tearing that runs down your face and also make you susceptible to infections. This is a picture of your tear drainage system. Your tears are made by a gland located up underneath the upper eyelid. The tears are then produced and washed over the eye and down into one of these two drains. Drains go down through these tubes into this sac called the lacrimal sac and then drain down through this duct and drain in the nose. And that's how the tears normally drain. With a nasolacrimal duct obstruction, there is a blockage right here. The way to treat this problem is by bypassing that blockage. And this is typically done with a DCR procedure. This allows the tears to pass directly from the sac into the nose. We do this procedure one of two ways. We either make an incision here, called the external DCR, or we go up through the nose with a camera and make an opening. With both procedures, after we make the opening, we put in a silicone string, and that silicone string from inside your nose makes a big loop. It goes through the tear drain system and helps this opening that we made stay open as it heals. We do that to help increase the success rate of the procedure. The idea with the silicone tube is it works similar to when you have your ears pierced. They leave the stud in for several weeks so that the opening that was made will stay open. After everything is healed up, usually about three months after the surgery, we take that tube out in the office. It's not a big deal and is easier than the irrigation that you've already had done. Both procedures are done while you're completely asleep. They're done in an outpatient setting and both procedures take about 45 minutes. The advantage of the endoscopic procedure is that there is no visible incision, therefore no visible scar, and the recovery time tends to be less and usually you have no bruising. The success rate of the external surgery is approximately 90 to 95% and the endoscopic is about 85 to 90%. So the endoscopic is a slightly lower success rate. However, most patients choose the endoscopic for the benefits of the less downtime and no scarring. The risks of the DCR procedure include bleeding and infection and recurrence of the obstruction. With an external DCR where we make the incision, you do have a risk of developing a scar. Although it does tend to be minimal, there is a chance that you could have a visible scar with that procedure. The endoscopic procedure has the benefit of no visible scar, but does also carry the same risk of recurrence and bleeding and infection, although these risks are relatively low. After the surgery, you'll go home. With the external surgery, we'll give you an ointment to apply to the incision and have you do some ice because you'll anticipate some swelling and bruising. With the endoscopic surgery, normally there isn't any swelling and bruising and pain tends to be fairly minimal. Most people will have to take Tylenol and rarely will they need more pain medicine. With the endoscopic surgery, we will have you use a drop and the, the eye will feel somewhat scratchy and irritated but will typically get better as you recover. You will still anticipate having some degree of tearing after the surgery until everything heals up and the silicone tube is removed. We usually see you in the office approximately one to two weeks after the surgery to make sure everything's healing as expected and then see you back at three months. At three months is when we will remove the silicone tube. After that, we'll frequently check you again at six months, just because if the opening that we made is going to scar close, usually it's within the first six months. However, it is fairly unlikely. Thank you for choosing Central Florida Eye Specialist, and we look forward to taking care of you.